<laughs> if you want to see with your own eyes how the eclipse impacts animal behavior, one of the best spots is at the Houston Zoo. That is where Adam Bennett is camped out. Adam. Hey, what's going on, guys? So I'm here with Tara Cornelius, Director of Animal Care. Tara, big day. It's here. It's a big day. We're very excited. So I was going to say the million dollar question, of course. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many times you've gotten this today. How are the animals going to react? That is the big question that everybody wants to know, and the answer is, I have no idea. We have not done this before here. We hear lots of reports of what other animals have done. Uh, and so we're just going to wait and see what our animals do here. And, and so we are right outside the giraffe enclosure here. They've just been kind of just chilling here all day. They seem really, really calm, cool and collected. Yep, typical giraffe right there. <laughs> <laughs> now when they, I've heard that when giraffes get excited, you were saying they, they, they gallop, right? Yeah. So is that a possibility today? That is a possibility. So they will gallop and it's really cool with giraffe because they're so large. It looks like they're moving really, really slowly, but they're actually going pretty darn fast. So when they get excited about something good or if something startles them, they sometimes will see them galloping around their enclosure here. And of course, in their enclosure, they have their friend, the ostrich here, who's just kind of been strutting their stuff, uh, you know, photo bombing us here all day long. <laughs> Any idea what they may do? Uh, she will probably run around the enclosure, which again is not super abnormal behavior for her, but um, if the giraffe get excited, she definitely will follow suit. And then I think my favorite prediction for the animals is the big cats. You were saying that when that darkness comes, they may think somebody missed their feeding time. Yeah, so that is what I anticipate. If it gets dark enough here, that our animals are gonna start vocalizing, thinking that the animal care team maybe forgot to feed them before they were going to bed. So that is the biggest thing I think we can probably listen for and hear it from all around the zoo. But yeah, the cats will definitely make it known if they think they've missed a meal. I was gonna say, they eat a lot. They are not gonna let that slide. No, they will not. They will be very loud about it. <laughs> So, you know, with something like this, it's, it's unprecedented for us here and for you guys here at the zoo. How do you prepare for something like this with the animals? So with the animals, we our animal care teams look at them pretty closely every day, monitor them, monitor their welfare and well-being. And so we're going to be doing the same thing. But then we're, of course, going to document any strange behavior or any unusual behavior that we see and make a note that, you know, whether it happened on eclipse day or during the eclipse or any of that sort of stuff, just so we know for the future, whenever this happens again, that we'll have that record of what of what happened here. I was going to say, you can kind of just file that away for 2044. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, as we kind of wrap up here, um, Tara, you know, uh, obviously we have our, our safety glasses yep. here. We're ready to go. You know, even though it's cloudy, we're, we're you know, going to put them on when we look to the sky. What about the animals? Any risk maybe t to their vision that they may be looking at the sun here? So I don't think when it gets dark, they wouldn't normally look up at the sun. So I can't imagine they're going to realize what's happening. Um, um, also, they tend to be a little bit smarter when it comes to things like the sun and they won't look directly at it anyways. And so I think they will probably just completely not paying attention to it and really look around for what's happening around them, especially for animals that, you know, might be worried about prey at night or any of that sort of stuff or being a prey, prey item at night. They want to look out for predators. So they'll probably be looking around more than looking up. Sounds good. We'll follow their lead. Don't look at the sun without exactly. protection. Tara Cornelius, thank you so much. We'll send it back to you guys.